Yo, 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 yo. What's up, what's up, what's up? Na, 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 na. Got another cast cast for you guys. And this time I am doing a T. Terran versus Zerg. This is the one and only scan. Up against the one and only Dingo. Can't get better mannered than Dingo. He is the Peruvian all-star of GM. Good mannered. Um, loved by Tony G. Hated by no one. Um, yeah, I'm just kidding. But So up against Scan, we got a TVZ. Scan going to be bottom, middle. And uh, Dingo going to be top right. Going for the double barracks. Going to be kind of a tough spot for Scan in a middle spot. I do think that you have more room if you're getting pushed to kind of spread your sunkins. Um, but when you spread your sunkins out here, it's a little bit easier to kill compared to spreading your sunkins if you're in a corner spot. You can spread your sunkins a little bit further out. The only thing is a lot of players will use these ledges to kill the sunkins. But there's your early, early gas. And uh, Scan has really, really good Muta Micro, so we'll probably see some Muta Micro this game. This was from SCW28. And I will keep saying it, I'm super excited for SCW32. StarcraftWorld.net. Shout out to Live Sword. I actually don't know his real name. I don't know Sword's real name, but I don't even think they even call him by his real name on the website. Uh, but if you guys are looking to play in a fastest league, StarcraftWorld.net. Um, just register and um, you can play. Go to OP uh, space UGL. That's the channel on the west western uh, western scene. So that's where you can play a bunch of one versus one. You can play. I mean, Scan doesn't play a lot. You can find Dingo on there. Uh, Dingo plays a lot. Jose, Hydra, um, all the players. There's a lot of two versus two games. So pretty active gonna try to get this Ryan sauce right here and I think he's gonna be oh he's trying to make it oh he's gonna die so I think we're gonna see he's up against a Zerg he's gonna go with the double factory this is what he is kind of known for um, see if he's got two medics on the way now two medics on the way not getting stim just yet let's see if he gets it right now I think he's waiting for this to finish. He's going to put a depot right here in case Scan goes for Zerglings, speed Zerglings, but he's going for a Spire. And going to send these guys in, kind of see what Dingo's up to. Going to see a couple Fire Bats and two Sunkins right here. He's going to probably just leave these. He should leave one of these guys here. He does have his, his Overlord here, so you can see if he is going to get attacked. That's why he's going to pull these guys back. I think he might want to scout this, see if there's a barracks over here, just in case. Going to put down a couple more sunkins. And there's your double machine shop. Going to get uh, siege tank range. A uh, siege tank upgrade, actually. There's his first tank on the way. Going to go into a command center. Interesting. So not going to go all out on the rush here. A lot of players, a lot of Western players will go all out on the rush. So he's going to get a command center. In case, I guess he's up against... Here's your Overlord going to spot this out. In case he's up against maybe Lurkers, he's going to get that scan. I don't know if he upgraded Stim yet, but... So, is he trying to get this guy? No. And Scan going to see this. He's going to see the tank rolling on out. Tank's going to come right here. You usually want to put it about right there. Get a good distance. He'll be able to take out three of these sunkins if he puts it in the right spot. And one tank will be able to. And I am going to have a little sip of water. Ooh, I think he could have put it a little bit closer. Going to be able to hit this guy. I think he'll be able to hit this guy. I don't think he'll be able to hit this guy, though. 
But 5.30 in, little Scorgies, and then there's your Muta. So, I mean, he's already got the Mutas at 5.30. So fast. So, let's go back to Double Vision. We'll see some Muta Micro. I think he's going to wait until he gets about 8 Mutas. But we'll see. Put that DN Dizzle on. Do not disturb me. Going to build some turrets. And usually want to have about 6 Mutas at least. And this is a super fast push. Dingo doing a nice job. He's got three tanks right here. Here's your mutas. Five mutas. Gonna take out. He'll be able to take out these tanks. Gonna take a shot at that tank. And now we got seven mutas. So this guy took a hit. And these tanks should be easy to get taken out. This one's gonna go down. So that's one tank. And now we got 10 mutas, so this will be on point. One shot, the Marines. Easy peasy. Excellently clicking. I think he's hitting this. Oh, he's hitting this. I've seen him do this before. He'll attack the engineering bay, and then he'll ricochet off of the engineering bay, and then hit the tank. Or hit a Marine. Not going to happen there. It's got to be close enough. But if he hits this, watch it. I think he's going to try to hit this. Let's see how it hits that Marine over there. So, I mean, that's just some go Sue stuff. He's got 11 mutas. Going to take out that tank. Going to take out this tank. And that tank's going to be gone. So, got two tanks back here. 80 supply to 65. Has six barracks. I do think that Dingo is playing this pretty nicely. And 11 Muta is going to try to take out this tank. Ooh, we just missed that one. Needs to bring these Marines on up. This tank is so close to being dead. But it's not going to go down. He's got an Overlord getting shot at. And I think Dingo is just going to go straight in with the attack right here. Sunken getting made. Going to take out that Fire Bat. Got a couple Zerglings to help tank. And this is what makes Scan so good. Is Muta Micro. This is what makes a lot of Korean players really good with their Zerg versus Terran. That's going to go down. Now there's no tanks left. And Dingo is going to have to retreat a little bit. And going to try to take out a Medic if he can. There goes one Medic. Takes out that Marine. Nine Mutas right here. Let's see if he's got an upgrade. Got an upgrade on Carapace. And But Dingo has a pretty full base. Going to just go straight for the attack. A lot of... Mutas here. I don't know if this was the best option. This is actually 12 Mutas, so I do think he will win this exchange. So, nicely done there. And he's still got 12 Mutas here. Getting the Hive. And he's pumping out of three macro hatcheries. Here's a couple Goliaths coming in here. And Dingo is slowly getting bigger and bigger. Here's your Hive. Let's see if this turns into a Greater Spire. Going to make that into a Greater Spire. And Dingo going to retreat. And I think this is Dingo's one of, one of his best matchups. He's getting all Goliaths right now. A couple of star ports. Some more Muta Micro. Let's go back. Take another sip. So I think he's going to wait. He's gonna pick up a couple more, more Marines right here. But nice little stimming right there. But... Um, He's going to use a bunch of Zerglings. He's got a decent amount of Mutas here. Let's see how many Mutas he's got. 12 Mutas. All these Zerglings. Going to go for the attack. Take this out. The Suckin's doing a little work. And Scan is going to win that exchange. So now Dingle is... He's got upgrade on range for his Goliaths. But now he is kind of in... Going to have to retreat. But I don't think that... Scan can be too aggressive here. He's going to take out that Goliath. And some more Marines coming out here. Going for the full-on attack. This is a lot of bunker or barracks. He is going for the attack, though. But he just doesn't have enough hatcheries to continue this. My little micro from Dingo. And going to have to retreat. I'm guessing these are getting tanks coming out of here. And two tanks are going to pop out. Gonna snipe these out easy. Taking out that turret. And going for the full-on kill. 
Probably gonna make some fire bats, and this is gonna do some damage against Dingo. I'm gonna take out these tanks. I think you should take out that turret right there. Maybe bolt these turrets and then just chill back here. But he's gonna go for the he's gonna go retreat, maybe take out well he's not gonna see that. He's waiting for a couple of mutas to come. Gonna build another hatchery, a couple more sunkins getting made. Gonna really kind of start building up his base. He's playing at 400 APM like a beast. This is this is scan the low money player, if you guys don't know. He already got speed attack, I think. Let's see if a defiler mound is on the way. Two Hydro Stens, and here are your Guardians. And that's going to get spotted out by Dingo. So he's going to see all of these Guardians right here. And does he have any anti air? He's got a vessel, and he's going to have to start. Should just cancel these and make these into Valkyries. Here's your Guardians. And don't know what he's shooting at right now. Oh, there's some, there's some Zerglings under here doing some damage. And Scan has the Guardians. He's got two chambers on the way. There's your defiler mound. I mean, scan is so darn good. Here's your vessels. We'll see if he just irradiates. He could have irradiated one of the vessels. He needs to micro that out of there and then put it over the guardians, but he didn't. Let me double check. I am casting. I am casting. Another vessel going to pop out. Almost has enough energy. Needs to get some Valkyries. There's another irradiate. Two irradiates coming down. Going to stim these guys. Go in for the attack. No upgrades on these guys. Gonna take out one guardian. I heard, I think, two guardians. Goliath coming in. And this would have been GG McGeeski if this was regular StarCraft. But medics with marines as well as Goliaths with range really help against guardians. But I do think that, yeah, Scan is gonna be okay, or Dingo's gonna be okay here, so. Stimming these guys up. He's got this upgrade to seal close. Almost done with that. Here's another vessel. I thought I saw some scourges. Might have been flying over here. Here's a drone just doing his thing. Come over to the side right here. Another starport. Here's your Valkyries finally going to spawn and it's going to clean these guys out. And I think that Scan is just going to have to start building up a bunch of Sunkins. Kind of build up his base. He's getting Lurker upgrade. Getting his upgrades for his attack and uh, carapace. I think that's what it is. Kind of blanking on that one. Three more macro hatcheries, and I think Skin always likes to kind of give his hatcheries a lot of space. So like, so like, uh, so he will put at least there's at least one little space. This one has I think two or three spaces in between his hatcheries. A lot of players will just put them side by side. He likes to give him a little space. Got the overlords on the side, probably getting speed. There's another hatchery. And some mutas are going to spawn. And Dingo is going to be at 144 supply. Sending in some vessels. He's got a couple Valkyries. Scan coming down. Going to see the Guardians getting made. And no really Scourgies that I see. I think there were two right here. And here comes your vessels. Going to go after the minerals. A couple Hydra's going to come over. Did, did he upgrade Burrow? He's at 66 drones. He is trying to burrow, but he lost. He only lost three, so not the end of the world. Another vessel coming in. Gonna have to burrow. And he lost about eight, I think. So, and here is a drone. Maybe gonna make an expo with this guy. We'll see. And these guys are getting some kills over here. Got a couple more scourges. Here's your guardians. And Dingo's got a pretty full base. He needs to get a couple more depots. He's got four. Ooh, try to get another shot off. He's got four star ports here. This is five factories plus two more seven. Probably going to build another factory right here. I think he needs to put all of his units together. And then go for the attack. But he's going to use these guys. And try to hunt for some overlords. But going to lose two of those guys. And let's see what the upgrades are. One upgrade on attack. A couple vessels here. I'm going to seize these guys up. And going to irradiate these guardians right here. Tanks do not have any upgrades yet. Here's your defiler mound. Going to stim these guys in. Yeah, just needs to go with a full on attack. Send everybody in together. And let's see what Scan has. 
He's got 1-1 one, one upgrade. Snipes out that vessel nicely. And these lurkers are going to do some damage. He's going to have to scan this. Here's your expo right here. A couple zerglings are going to spawn. Here's your defiler. They're going to consume. And once he gets that swarm up, that's going to be huge. Probably going to put a swarm. He wants to probably put a swarm right here and right here. He's got the zerglings. Firebats are in here, though, from Dingo. And 4K Scan is just trying to survive. He's going to put these lurkers down, absolutely destroy those marines. And Dingo is going to have to start going into tech, stop making marines and medics. He's going to have to go with all factories, repairing his um, starport right there. And actually, Scan looks like he might be going on the offensive, but this defiler got irradiated. And... Yeah, I think Scan just needs to keep putting up a swarm right there. Here's his expo. This is turning out to be a crazy, crazy game. And now I think Scan is going to start going for the attack. He needs to make some overlords. He's got a little drone. Probably going to make a Nidus canal right there. Here's your Valkyries, probably going to go after the Minerals, and sieging up these guys, there's your Swarm, oh the Defiler got smoked, but this will go down, going to irradiate this. And Dingo has a pretty big base, he's going to start putting command centers over his Main command center. Here's some guardians getting made on the side, I think. Not exactly sure why. He's got a bunch of spore colonies over here. I think he's just gonna, yeah, really start kind of D'ing up. He's got a bunch of drones right here. Here's your vessels. A scan did come down. You scan this right here. Oh, he's getting extra gas over here. So here's your guardians gonna spawn. And I think he, he needs to get more gas. So there's one. And here comes your irradiate with the Valkyries. Irradiate on the Valkyries. And usually you want to put, put a defensive matrix on these guys. But it's at 75. Did a little damage to these drones. But a couple lurkers right here. No vessel going to be able to spot this out. Let's siege up these tanks. He's got 1-1 one, one upgrades. And I'm surprised that Scan didn't... Yeah, Scan did not get speed yet. He's working on getting speed for his overlords. Another hatchery coming down. Probably another hatchery right here. Now, I wonder how good Scan would be if he played fastest only. Kind of like Buell. I mean, he'd be up there. Because he, he can play really fast, losing a lot of his overlords here. He's also very smart. Here's your vessels. And not going to be able to get anything done right there. Here's a couple defilers. At least three in there. Looks like he's going to start moving on out. Swarm going to come down, I think. Let's see when this guy puts down a swarm. There's one swarm. Put down another swarm. Going to get irradiated. And another irradiate coming down. It's a lot of vessels. Maybe we'll see a bunch of... He just skin just doesn't have the gas for it. So he needs to get more gas. He's getting more gas over here. But here's a vessel. See if it's going to see this creep. Barely going to see that. We'll see if Dingo actually spots that out. couple barracks right here. Going to go from this side. Try to get the minerals. Another swarm going to come down right here, I think. He's got the, the filer. And this is going to get spotted out. We'll see if Scan uses any Scorgies. Scan in this right now. Going to see the opening. Going to take out that vessel, but that's going to get one. Irradiate off on the drone. Going to burrow nicely. Only going to get the one kill. Here's some more vessels. And these guys are supposed to be getting gas, but they don't feel like it. Dingo going to see this expo right here. 
And I think a swarm's gonna come down. Oh, red stuff coming down. Nicely done. I do think that Dingo's doing a nice job. Uh, getting the defilers, irradiating the defilers. There's a couple more vessels. Let's see if this guy, another scan coming down. And gonna go up to the left side. Down to 67 drones. Some Goliaths right here. I think he's sending them over here to kill this little expo. 20 minutes into this game. And if this game corrupts, I will be devastated. I don't think it will unless we start seeing some turrets get made on the side, but we will see. 2-2 two, two upgrades for scan. And he's going to go try to save his expo, I think. He'll probably make a Nidus Canal over here. A couple vessels. One vessel and two Valkyries over here. And I'll, we'll probably see another... Well, he's got these guys burrowed up, so he needs to unburrow these guys right here. These guys are just chilling. Couple more guardians getting made. We'll probably see some ultras after he gets all of his gas. He's still only mining off of seven gas right now when he could be mining off of ten. Here's your swarm. I'm gonna take these guys out. There's some vessels gonna radiate these guys in here. Maybe we'll see some nukes. Also, a drop would be nice from scan. And these guys, these two are irradiated. This guy's irradiated as well. And this guy's irradiated as well. So all four of these guys, there's one more left, which just got irradiated. So this is going to go down. And now just gonna start building up his base. Dingo definitely needs to get rid of some of his SCVs. Gonna scan, see what he's up against. Basically a maxed Zerg. Scan. Gonna see the swarm. He's got the vessels. And looks like there are a bunch of units over here. Here's your Nidus Canal. Yeah. And if I was Dingo, I'd put a couple tanks right here, a couple tanks right here, and then a couple tanks right here. So another a tank over here. Just so you kind of get the surround action. And let's see if he's getting that last two upgrades he is. A lot of guardians right here. Let's see if there's any devourers. Just all guardians. He's got a couple lurkers. It looks like he might send these guys on over. Here is another Nidus Canal. Going to make two Nidus Canals right there. Getting this gas right here. Gonna get a hatchery right there. These tanks are gonna take this out. One, two upgrades. And here, two vessels gonna go after the minerals. Yeah, Dingle definitely needs to get rid of, look at all these spores. Definitely needs to get rid of those SCVs. And that's gonna, oh, he did get it off. I, had, I thought he had no chance. 61 drones, down to 50. So he got 11 kills right there. Take out these Nidus Canals, we'll see if this Snipes that out one shot, and this is going to go down. See if he cancels this. Going to have to make a bunch more drones. He's got 12 on the way, 17 on the way. And supply 177 to 133. 25 minutes. I feel like last four minutes have been crazy. And going to start building turret, or turrets on the side. That's not what I want to see. Compset right here. I think this also corrupts replays. So, hopefully this is not corrupted. I will still post this, but I'll just say, watch with your own... Uh, watch at your own risk, I guess. Not that many hatcheries for scan. I know what this little thing up here is at. It's pretty cool on the tanks. Sometimes you don't notice stuff until a little bit later. I mean, I've been playing this game forever, and you just... Those are the tracks, I guess. 
lot of swarm right here. He's going to take out these overlords. And Dingo basically has the map taken care of. He's building turrets in every spot. He's got a couple of Valkyries over here. Going to make these overlords retreat. And going to start taking out these over, over uh, guardians. Look at this splash damage right here. Just going to absolutely merc these, not guardians, devourers actually. And as soon as they spawn, they have full health. So they are going to go right after the Valkyries. Absolutely smoke them. And I'm actually going to have to retreat these guys. Dingo at 35k. Needs to get rid of those SCVs. No Moss SCVs. Swarm's going to keep coming down. Got, got a couple Guardians here. Going to take out a lot of these tanks. He's got the Devourers. Working on the Valkyries. Buying the Guardians time to shoot at the tanks right here. And... I never really liked Devourers. I think I say that in a lot of my casts. When I see Zerg. But we're going to probably see some Ultras really soon. Scan needs to just make a bunch of Zerglings. There we go. Getting rid of some of those SCVs. He needs to make a bunch of Zerglings. And when you make a bunch of Zerglings and then you keep using Swarm. And you buy yourself time. Which I think that's what he's doing. Your gas will really go up and then you can make... A ton of ultras. So he's got the guardians, he's got the mutas. Let's see how many. Here's a factory on the way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 factories and about 7 starports right here. So I mean, he has enough. Dingo has enough factories and starports, in my opinion. Good defense on the side for Scan. Might want to make a couple more hatcheries. Let's see if he's got he's got three two upgrades. Let's see if he's getting that last upgrade. Not getting that last upgrade. Needs to get that last upgrade. Lost the defiler right there. A couple of zerglings. I'm gonna take out the scans coming down. This guy might start making nukes possibly. And still getting his upgrades as well. So he's getting air right now. He does need to get this vehicle plating upgrade. So a couple Zerglings going to take out these turrets. Here's your Muta's going to have to micro those guys out of there. Let's see. This is what Scan is seeing right now. He's got 2k gas. Decent amount of Guardians right here. Double Ultra's Cavern. Decent amount. He's got a lot of... I'd say he's got about seven defilers. Eight defilers right there. And is he going for a muta bomb? He's going for the Yeg bomb. Mute bomb. Queen on the side. Going to bring that up with the mutas. And he's going to try to take out the main of Dingo. But I'm guessing Dingo put a command center over his main. He did not, but he's ready for it. He knows this is coming. He's got the vessels in place. A couple tanks over here accidentally going over here. And just going to keep the swarm up. Let these lurkers just keep doing their thing. And here is your Mutabomb vessels. And going to have to pull the Valkyries as well. We'll see if he gets this. I think he's going to snipe out. He, does t he takes out the queen right away. So doesn't even have a chance to infest the command center. So easily held there by Dingo. And that was pretty costly. And now he can maybe go for the attack. Nice job using the red stuff on the vessels. When you use the red stuff on the vessels, then you can use your mutas and one shot these vessels and it'll kill one shot will actually kill two of them. So there goes one. This one's gonna go down really quickly. One shot. They just go down so quickly. Especially at Mutas, because they shoot a lot faster. Scan, getting some Guardians. These guys are going to get smoked, these Devourers. Someone 
please leave a comment and tell me why do people make guardians? I just don't. Uh, not guardians. Uh, devourers. I just don't get. I just don't don't get how they're they're anything. They they just seem so weak to me. This looks like a drop, but it's not. And Dingo, he can get rid of another 12 SCVs if he wants to. He's going to build some turrets on the side. So he is, I think he pulled some of his SCVs. Yeah, he pulled about 12 or so. And he's just going to start building turrets on the side. And then try to spot abuse right here. Got a couple Hydras right here. So we'll see if he can get these. This irradiate off on the drones. Attack right here, taking over the middle again. These Valkyries are doing a nice job, though. More units coming. I mean, this is just a back-and-forth game. I do want to see some Ultras out of scan. And he still doesn't have all of his gas. I mean, he needs to he needs to mine all of his gas. That's a big reason. Here's your defense matrix. And going to go in. He's going to irradiate one of these. He should irradiate it now. I guess he was just going for the irradiate on the drone. Sometimes you just irradiate the vessel and then you put it over the drones. Gets that splash damage. And now I'm going to go for the attack right here. Here's a depot getting made. Sieged up. Valkyrie's over here. Going to build a couple starports. And I think he's just going to make some vessels right here and just keep trying to fly them on over. Maybe that's what his thought is. It's the command center. Building a command center. Don't know why he's making SCVs. Maybe we're going to get gas over here. But scan. Get your gas. If I was coaching you right now, I would be telling you that right now. And Dingo is getting a nice... He's seeing exactly what scan has. I mean, he's scanning all of scan. No pun intended. And going to take out all these overlords right here. See if this drops the supply at all. He's at 200. Bringing these guys back. Not gonna drop the supply. We got ultras on the way though. There they are. Don't know how they spawn from that small egg. You got little Arnold, is what I call them. 26 damage. They could be tw doing 29. Here's your star port's gonna go down. Saw that expo. Killed it. And now that he's got ultras, I really think that he can start. Going for the attack and might be able to kill Dingo. This guy's just taking hits like it's his job. Splat. Here comes your Ultras. Needs to put up that swarm. Some Hydras on the side right here. Guardians. Good combination of units. And just going to roll through this. Like the Alabama Roll Tide, dude. Just... Beasting. These guys are like running backs from Alabama. Just beasting. Was it Scarborough, Scarborough or something like that? That guy was a beast. It's going to go down. And then uh, who's the other guy? Plays on Tennessee. I think he played at Alabama. He's like the best running back right now. I can't think of his name. But he's a beast. I think he got hurt in the playoffs last year. Tennessee was the number one seed. Maybe he did play. I think he did play, actually. But he wasn't full, full health. Anyways. Valkyrie's right here. Derrick Henry. There we go. It'll come to me. So, Dingo's got 47 SCV, so he's going to have a lot of units, a lot of tanks right here. And let's see if he's making a bunch of just all vessels right now. His gas is decent. That's why he was going for the expo gas right here. Here's your expo for scan. 35 minutes into the game. Here's your ultras. Got a couple devours. I'd like to see three more hatcheries right here from scan. Playing at 200, I mean, he's been playing at about 300 APM this whole game. Scan or irradiate coming down. Gonna burrow these guys up. But 
they can get seen. This guy's gonna get irradiated. Gonna take out this starport over here. Gonna take out that SCV. And now, this guy might try to just take over the middle. Let's see if he pulls a couple drones. Yeah, there's a drone right there. And I think he's gonna put some hatcheries in the middle. There's one. Here's two. There's three. And he's gonna get the gas on the side right here. So we're gonna start trying to control the map. I think this is exactly what he needs to do. He's got the ultras. There's a lot of tanks right here. And... Yeah, I'm surprised I never casted this game. Dropships, that's a good move from Dingo. Gonna scan, he's getting in the middle. He's gonna see the hatcheries getting made. Gonna see the base. And yeah, he could easily drop. I want to send these guys over, maybe scout for some overlords. Gonna slowly move out. He's gonna see all of these units. Gonna irradiate an ultra list. And let's see how many. Oh, that guy just took a bunch of hits. That's why he went down. I wanted to see how much an irradiate does damage wise against an ultra. I know it doesn't kill him. A couple zerglings over here. These should be almost done. Close. And getting that gas. Getting that gas. Here's your ultras coming in. And that's a lot of blood right there. Straight into battle. Straight into death. And he's see if he's making making a defiler. Gonna make some more lurkers. Needs to keep this swarm up. I think he'll probably put another swarm up. Doing a good job with his defilers. Always keeping a swarm up for the most part. There's another swarm. Gonna move these guys up a little bit closer. Here's some ultras right here. I think ultras are my fa uh, favorite Zerg unit. Kind of like BCs. I like BCs a lot. Here's your drop. This is going to be huge. Nice little move from Dingo. Going in with the Valkyrie so it can take some hits. But here we go. This could do a lot of damage. Ultra's coming down. Going to siege up these tanks. Is he going to get the main? Nine ninety. Another hit, 487, 236, 237, that was a nice move, does have 3-3 three, three upgrades, so, but now, Scan can maybe go for the attack, maybe Scan wants to go for a drop of his own, we'll probably see another drop, oh he's going to go with rates to uh, try to finish the job, smart move there by Dingo. If he can kill, if he can kill the main, that'll really slow down the gas. Actually, it may not as much. I think Scan should get a hatchery here just in case he does lose his main. But he's got the double hatcheries on the side for gas. And he dropped over here. I didn't see it. Nice little drop. Needs to use these ultras. Let's see if he's got a defiler in here. Going to start taking out some SCVs. Going to put these guys right next to the to the SCVs and kill all the SCVs with the splash damage of the Irradiate. Smart move there. Going after the main as well. And Dingo down to 17 SCVs repairing this. Coming in trying to take out the main. So really nice drop right there. So both players are going to drop each other. Some vessels coming in. Gonna take out three of those, I think. There goes the fourth and the fifth. So that was a nice, and there's a S, oh, there's lurkers in here still. And he doesn't have detection. Gonna have to use these rates and bring them on over. Sieging up these tanks. Nice move there from Scan. And is this another drop? 
No. Surprised he's not getting more gas on the side. Now Dingo only has a 15 SCVs. And he's got 178 supply. Gonna start getting the gas. He knows he has a lot of money, so he needs to get... Oh, wow, these tanks are just getting smoked. And there's some spores out here. 40 minutes into this game. Absolutely crazy. I am going to take my melatonin. And is this a drop? Yep, another drop coming in. The ultras, defilers in here. There's your ultras. We'll see if a swarm comes up. I see. He's probably going to use the red stuff. There's your swarm. Usually you put the red stuff. You can. Look at all this swarm action right here. I think the main might be Donzo. See if he goes for another drop. I think he killed that. Ultras. Coming in hot. And there's a lurker over here. Just not burrowed up. See you later, dude. And a lot of tanks up front. 173 supply, 171. This guy's not gonna die. Somehow. He might be able to go after the minerals. He's gonna get irradiated again. I thought one irradiate kills a lurker. Don't know how that guy survived. And Dingo needs to go for another tank drop. I don't want to miss a... There's your hatchery. I guess he's getting sunkins down here. He needs to get a couple spores as well. And we'll probably see another drop. Yeah, here's a drop coming. Two ultras per overlord. And... Needs to build some turrets over here. A lot of vessels over here are going to start moving out, but he really can't. And here comes your drop. He's, this is going to be wide open. He can just keep going. He's going to drop on these tanks, I think. A radiate coming down. There's your ultras. Let's see if he tries to move this ultra onto the SCVs. Get that splash damage. On all of these guys right here. 31 SCVs. Down to 23. And we will just keep seeing. Ooh. Down to. Yeah. 23 SCVs. Slowly picking apart Dingo right here. I think Dingo needs to get some nukes or something. And he needs to go for another drop. Muta's gonna spawn. Maybe put some guardians over here. Another couple of radiates coming down. A lot of radiates coming down. He wants to take out all of these tanks with with mutas. And we will see what the next move is for scan. Well, that guy was doing the uh, spin dance. Just a guardian just randomly out here. Maybe I'll put a hatchery over here. And then he can just continue to drop. Put all of his units in here. Drop. Put his units in here. Drop. Here's your mutas. More mutas. Gonna go after the main. Dingo is slowly getting poor. Here's a Wraith. Gonna spot this out. Gonna see this Muta Bomb. And he's got three Queens this time. Here's your Wraiths. We'll go after the main. We'll see if he infests this. 
Is he gonna turn red? There it is. There's your infest. And now, that is exactly what Scan wanted. And then you just make the suicide. Is it, uh, they're kamikazes. I forget what their real names are, though. These tanks going down. And Digo needs to get some Goliaths. He's only got 14 SCVs. Going to irradiate this. Take these guys out. Keeping the swarms going. Some drones getting made. Looks like he's going to make a bunch more hatcheries, I think. That would be the only reason I would see why he would want... Is he going to get more minerals? Doesn't need to. He's got 20k. So I'm not really sure why. Wasting the supply there. Is this a dropship? Tank in here? Oh, he's going to take this out right here. So, nice little move there by Dingo. Doesn't have a main. And here's a bunch of mutas coming in. Gonna take out probably the vessels first, if he can. Or he's just gonna go for the random attack all over the place. Try to split up the mutas that get irradiated. Let them go die. Take out all these tanks. And then probably make some ultras. Look at all these spores. A lot of rates right here from Dingo. But most of those tanks are dead. See if he's going to make Devourers and Guardians probably. He's got 10 Ultras and 9 Guardians. So he's going to use that to just bulldoze through the front. It's another drop. Rates are going to go after the main. So he took out this. And it's got 450 uh, health left. And this is going to get spotted out. But he's also getting attacked up here from the front. Going after the main. Red stuff going to come down. Main's going to go down easily. Might try to take out this right here if he can. But 18k is a lot. Here's your Devours. I don't see an Overlord that can really spot out these rates right now. And here's your Overlords coming in. See if the Ultras start getting used. He might want to go for another drop. Maybe a Lurker drop. And got a bunch of ultras over here. Going to pick these guys up. He's got eight ultras. But and he's going to probably try to drop it on the tanks. Let's see. Coming in with the ultra drop. Here's your rates, though. Going to just drop these guys. Try to flank this a little bit. Run this guy up. Maybe this guy will kill some of these turrets. Doesn't look like it. See what Guardians and Ultras, Zerglings.
some rates right here. Gonna try to bulldoze through. But these rates are doing some damage. Taking out these guardians pretty easily. Got a bunch more zerglings coming. I think Muta's. Look at the supply, 121 of for scan. I think he knows needs to go with just a bunch of mutas, all out mutas, and he can take out all of these tanks and easily kill all of these rapes. Taking out some overlords right here, and yeah, we got 38 mutas on the way. So yeah, that's exactly what he's going for. He's got Defilers chilling, chill billion right here. And yeah, I think if he just goes all out with the, here's a tank drop. I think if he just goes all out with the Mutas, he will be fine. Can easily kill all of these guys. Mutas are pretty strong. Here's your mutas. Look at all these mutas coming in. Needs to bring the overlords with them. I think he spotted this out. Oh, he's got devourers too. This is gonna get smashed. Interception. Deion Sanders style right here. It's my football reference game. Big Joe Burrow fan. And he's got some devours. Yeah, here's your huge attack. Dingo's basically maxed out, but he's just got a lot of tanks. Needs to bring in the Overlord, though. There's your Overlords. Gonna take out, once he takes out all these raids, it's gonna be bad news, bears, for Dingo here. And slowly just busting through. Still maxed out. Didn't go at 156 supply. Got some more mutas trickling in here. Yeah, I'm just going to take out all of these tanks. Probably going to bring in some Zerglings then. Doesn't even show what he's making. Unless he's making Skid Hidden or something. Doesn't even show me what he's making right now. Maybe because he's not making anything. I guess that's what that is. He's not making anything. Look up in that corner. Scan's coming down. I think he just wants to see... Yeah, I mean, this is... This is over, over Rover. Trying to build a factory, that's just not gonna happen. This is how you do it. Scan did a really nice job. Gonna win this ZVT. Took a long time. This was a really back and forth game. I think both players played well. Get scanned 400 APM. I think he's spamming right now though. But, um, yeah, Dingo just going to be annoying and not leave. It's just a matter of time. Is he just going to give up or no? I mean, he's got no money. 
Doesn't even have a science facility. And Skin knows he's got this one in the bag. He's gonna make a ton of guardians and devourers, I'm guessing. He's got 19 guardians, 18 guardians, a bunch of devourers, and some mutas. Great combo. This is gonna be the game under for Shirley Temple. Let's just see how a dingo feels right here. I mean, I do, I do respect Dingo as a player. He's a very good player, in my opinion. But him and uh, Jose, I mean, they do some questionable stuff. So and Scan playing like an absolute monster. Scan coming down, I think. More guardians just gonna file in here. 57 minutes. This is a long ass game for sure. Devourers or lurkers coming on over. Gonna probably bring those back here. Take out all the SCVs. Nice little move here. With the swarm coming down. And he's actually going to say the GG. So, good game right there. It's a long one. Very nice one, though. TVZ, ZVT, long game. Hope you guys liked it. Give it a like, give it a subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace.